Hey guys, this is FX345 coming at you today with another tutorial. Um, this one is regarding the type of phone 4 bug, which I'm going to help you fix. Now this bug, as you can see, is the the um, flashing 8s in the back of your time. Now this, this is going to be quite simple for you people who know your way around your iDevice. Um, this, this bug is most common with um, iPod touches. Uh, iPhones don't really have this problem, so I'm gonna do this now. Um, I'm using my iPod um, 4th gen because my iPhone 3GS is a little bit slower than this, and I don't know, I think it'd just be easier to show you from this. Okay, so here we go. First of all, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to download, I mean, first we're gonna want to go to Cydia. and you're going to want to download iFile. Now iFile it's basically like SSH in um, but you can do it through your phone like you can go through your phone's literal literal archives okay so we're gonna go to search iFile And you're gonna want to download um the cracked version. I file cracked. I got something else from a different repo. All right. So after you download that, you're gonna open up I file, and you're gonna want to go to just exit this real quick. You're gonna want to go to keep hitting back until you get to this um dash. And once you get to the dash, you're going to want to go to the blue var down here, the one at the very bottom var, right here. Then you're going to want to go all the way down and go to stash right here. Stash. So I'm going to open stash. And you're going to go to, you see themes now. People freak out because it has all these letters and numbers and some people might say they're different, um, that's okay, everything is different with every other iDevice. Okay, so you're going to want to open themes. You're going to go all the way down till you see T. You can see Typophone 4. You're going to want to open that. Then you're going to want to go to style, that's CSS. Once you have that open, you're going to want to hit edit, and we're going to edit this part right here. You're going to want to locate this part over here in the parentheses. Okay, so once we find that, we're going to go ahead and edit that. Okay, so we are going to go to the first dash right here, this first dash, and you're going to want to erase up to the... So you just want to be left with that. And then you're going to want to go to JPG, JPEG right here. And you're going to want to change that to PNG. And you hit done, save, done. Then you're going to want to respring your device. Now the video is going to cut off for this really quick because I have to respring. Okay, so right here we're restarting my springboard. Sorry about that. Alright, so once you have done that, okay, hold on, let me just wait for my iPod to respring and I'll show you guys. Okay, so once you have done that, as you can see, the blinking eights have stopped. Um, this tutorial was requested by Super Rock Two. Uh, I will have a link to his um profile in the description. I guess they call it profile. I'll have a link to that in the description. Um, if you guys have any more like any more tutorials, just uh, private message me or comment on this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can, which is 
pretty fast. Cause yeah, all right. So that was basically it. Oh, and I want to show you guys another lock screen that I found. It's exactly like type of phone, but it has the weather. So I'm gonna show you that. It's called type of phone weather. Go over here. Select themes. Type of phone weather. You can download. See the very top one. You can download that off of Cydia. I will put up a video on how to change the weather to your specific origin of living. Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. I will have another tutorial up shortly. Uh, possibly tomorrow. I'm not so sure. Alright, well, um, thank you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up and, uh, recommend this to friends if they have any problems with this kind of stuff. Alright, well, um, thanks for watching my tutorial. I will see you guys in my next video.